Hello, this is the Ramblings of an Indispo Mind podcast for Monday, September 12th, 2016. As of this recording, Sierra is still missing. So, uh, I got asked a little while back to what my editing process was, if I ever wanted to document that. And I thought, you know, it's... it's I, uh, it's probably a good uh, thing to, to, to revisit a, a, a blog post about. To do an actual, honest-to-God, written blog post rather than do it. I thought, well, I could just do that on, on the podcast here. I thought, well, this might be a little bit longer than I really want to go through on this venue. And it gave me an excuse to write a podcast, a, a blog post. Blah, blah, blah. And so I did that on Friday. I, I released that. So if that, I... I, I I'm not totally sure who asked me for that. It's I've got it narrowed down to one or two people, but I don't want to say the wrong one. Um, but if that was something that interests you, um, or, or even if you didn't ask for it and it's something that interests you, I did put it together. A new blog post came out on Friday. It's called Making It Better. And I just kind of talked about uh, a little bit about the evolution of, of my process because... I, I changed it this time around, and, and I think I'm going to continue that going forward based upon what I used to do compared to what I used to do. So that is there. Um, I'll tell you, I had two experiences that just, in creating this thing, that just uh, confirmed to me that, that uh, I'm kind of done with blogger. At least for the pen slinger stuff. And I, I I got this question like three weeks ago. And I had some time one day and I and I sat there and I pounded this whole thing out on uh, the blogger app on my phone. And I had it pretty much done. And uh my phone was, was messing up in some way, shape, or form. I forget exactly what the deal was, but usually one of the first things I'll do is I'll, like, I will uh, cancel all running apps. So I canceled all running apps, and then I went, oh, I, got, I was working on that blog post. I went back, and it's gone. The, 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 the fact that a blog post was created with, a, with that title was there, but the text, all gone. So I had to redo it. So I, I didn't get to it for a little while. So I was working on that last week. And, you know, I'm kind of doing a, a, a standard, you know, a paragraph of space, a paragraph of space. That's how I'm typing it into the editor. And at one point I clicked save and it made it reload and all my spaces went away. So I had my paragraphs just slammed up against each other. And so I inserted all my, my enters and my blank spaces again and the next time I saved they all went away again so after like the third time I had the bright idea of hey let me preview my post and of course then I have four blank lines between the paragraphs and I went and looked at I went and looked in HTML mode and sure enough I could see it I could see it there um, you know, four blank lines, four breaks little breaks, uh, HTML tags that say go to a new line there. So I, I cleaned that up, and then I, I just started, I, I used the HTML view, so I could at least see that, yeah, there was a break there. It's ugly, but whatever. And it's just like, yeah, you know, this is just stupid. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, getting over on the WordPress. And I've been spending a, a bunch of time on that, and it's, it's coming together. I've got a template I like. Um, I'm trying to get content on all of the various pages. I think what I have left is just um, the, the podcast page because I've got, I've got uh, you know, think about the novels. Uh, a lot of this is content I lifted from the existing website, but I'm going to, I'm just kind of putting there what I got for now and then I'm going to, I'm going to kind of rehash it and, and re-edit it and, and make it better, hopefully. And then we'll go from there. We'll go from there. So, yeah, it's moving along, moving along well. I, I'm looking forward to getting that, getting that done. I, I, I am getting up the learning curve to WordPress. I, I am finding it. Um, it's a unique because 
you know, you've got WordPress and then you've got your website template. And what you can change might vary from template to template. And so because of that, there are some things you can only do from within, from within your template. And there's some things that you must do uh, from outside of your template. And it's, it's kind of, it's kind of um, hard at first to realize, oh, I have to go into the template to do that. I can't do that from outside the template. And so I'm kind of learning where to do things. I am getting there. I'm learning where to do things. But it is a little different than like uh, most other, you know, I, I've worked with web, web uh, site creators before and you're just working on a website. And this is a little bit different because, you know, your template is kind of like a plug-in on the WordPress, WordPress platform, if you will. So it's got its own set of controls, and then you've got the, the generic WordPress controls. And sometimes there is some overlapping, like uh, menus uh, and some widget controls I can do in either place, I've discovered. But some things I can only go into the template, and some things um, I can only do within the, the WordPress dashboard. And I wasted a lot of time for a while there you know, I'd be in the template. And the template is when you're in the template, that's where you're, you've, you've got the settings, but you've also got the website. So you, as you're changing things, you immediately can see what that's doing to your website. And I'd be like searching in vain for whatever the heck it was I was looking for, only to realize that, oh, I got to go to the dashboard for that. I can't do that within the template. So that seems to be the key to understanding what the heck you're doing in WordPress is just to understand you know what's in the template what's not in the template and probably what's what's in both so i feel like i'm, I'm getting up the wordpress uh, learning tree there or learning curve i guess this is a learning curve would be the proper proper term i guess i could say i'm climbing the wordpress learning tree hey there we go ah but yeah and i'm still waiting to hear i'm still waiting to hear from um on my round table date. Still waiting to hear. I'm waiting to hear. I don't wait well. Have I mentioned that? I don't really wait well. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping, uh, hoping to get that soon. Hoping to get that soon. But, um, I am thinking I probably need to email him and just let him know, hey, I'm going to be gone the weekend of Sigler Fest so he doesn't you know, try to schedule me for that time. Um, uh, but, I haven't done that yet, but I, it's, it's on, in the back of my brain. I need to do that. But that's really all I was talking about, felt like talking about today. So I will be back tomorrow. I'll be talking to you then. So be seeing you.